So, guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Derek. I just abruptly just started because I'm kind of dumb. Um, <laughs> this makes the second time I've tried to film this video. Um, as you guys know, I kind of go off subject a little bit from time to time, but I try not to. And one of the things I was wanting to talk about, and this has been bugging me a lot lately because I've been running across a lot of these videos on rather be TikTok, YouTube, you name it, different media sites. Um, and it's disturbing, downright disturbing. And you actually hear stuff in the news of things that are going on, like at these major corporations. And basically, it's sex offenders, sex offenders and child sex offenders. Now, I've been watching, like I said, TikTok videos. Mostly, this is where I find it. And it's really crazy. Uh, these people set up a decoy to lure child predators in. And whenever they find them, you know, they put them on video. And I guess they have the police do what they will. And these people get, you know, what they deserve. Which I think, you know, if you're going to do something with a child... Or if you try to rape somebody or anything like that, there should be severe consequences for that. And I won't say what they are, but I have my, uh, I have my beliefs in it. I, fuck. <laughs> but yeah, it was kind of weird because you know I made a video. It was maybe a month or two ago where they found a PlayStation exec. I was trying to have a 15 year old boy or 10 year old boy. I, I don't know what the age is. Honestly, I know it's under age and I don't really care because it's disgusting. And they got this guy, his big shot at Sony, Sony PlayStation. And the other day, I was scrolling through, I, I found this channel. I, I forget the name of it. If I, if I can find it, which, you know, going through TikTok, there's millions of videos and you probably never run into it again. Um, but these other channels that's been sprouting out that are doing this. Now, back in the day on one of the bigger networks, there used to be a show called To Catch a Predator. And basically what it was, was they would set up a decoy. And this is kind of what these other channels were doing. And they would lure in child predators or sex offenders. And it was always just, not justified, but uh, satisfying for, you know, Chris Hansen to walk out and he'd be like, take a seat. And you see these motherfuckers, disgusting, disgusting motherfuckers. Uh, just, it, it's satisfying just to see him just squirm. Uh, and, and, you know, I, I take, uh, I think it's great. I think it's great. But these people on these new channels that are doing the same thing, um, it's a little dangerous, honestly, it is, because you never know, maybe the person they run into has a gun or a knife or he's a serial murderer. But, in my opinion, I think they're doing good work, and I think there should be more stuff like that. Get these fuckers off the street. But <laughs> the other day they found somebody, and I, you know, I, it's weird because... I tried to look this up, um, and maybe I'm putting the wrong uh, search term terminology on the on Google. So I typed in child, Facebook child predator. Well, it's going to that opened up the floodgates for thousands of these things. Um, let me see if we get five. Facebook exec caught allegedly trying to meet a 13 year old in a hotel room. He was the head of community development of Facebook. That's a big position. It's a really big position. I believe he did go, uh, he got fired, I believe. I don't know if he went to jail, uh, but he, he got caught. And you kind of notice like some of these bigger uh, corporations, these people that are head of, you know, some things like they have power are doing this shit. You know, we can even trace this over down to Jeffrey Epstein and his islands. He didn't kill himself, by the way. Just, just so you know. And, you know, it, it came out about Prince Andrew. Like, he was one of the customers. 
So these really big like figures in the world, like they're all doing these really disturbing, nasty things. And they've been getting away with it until, well, I mean, some of them still get away with it. Don't don't get me wrong there. Like a lot of a lot of the people that's in that Jismaine Maxwell house, whatever the fuck her name is, the Jeffrey Epstein's girlfriend. You know, a lot of the names that's going to be in that they're never going to come out. You know, there might be flight logs of Bill Clinton and all these other big shots going to this island. Uh, where you know a sex trafficker it's crazy it's crazy but these people are getting away with it and it's funny too like there was another video i watched um and brian shelter uh cnn was talking about why why is it that we have a news team that tries to find down find facts and you know we work really hard and there's dozens of people and why don't people trust us and trust Joe Rogan because he's just winging it? Number one, I don't think Joe Rogan's really just winging it. He's a pretty intelligent guy. Ryan Shelter is kind of a gross moron. Pretty much everybody that runs CNN or is a part of CNN is morons. Disgusting sex offenders. All of them. I don't care what you say. I'm pretty sure all of them are. At least the big ones. And, you know, just things are starting to come out. And they're wondering why they can't be trusted. Because they hide shit like this. You know, these big companies that has these people of power but do these terrible things. They hide it. They throw it under a rug until one day it comes out. And when it comes out, they all scramble. Oh, it's fake news. That never happened. That's that's not happened. That's not how it goes. But more and more, you're starting to see this come out. And it's disturbing, honestly. You know, I never I know there's a lot of people in the world that's disgusting that does things. And I know of people that has, and I don't want anything a part of them. And I'm they've done their time. They should have done more time, honestly. But I, I do know people who have done this. Um, not as a personal, super personal level, but I do know of people that has done this in my area. And it's everywhere. It, honestly, it's everywhere. It's disgusting. Um, it kind of reminds me back in the day when I was in high school, you had these guys that graduated high school getting on band bus because they would be a part of like a somebody to help run the marching band and they'd be dating one of the color guards and these you know these guys are maybe two or three years out of high school uh dating you know ninth tenth graders and it's fucking weird man it's fucking weird like really weird you know <clears throat> it's it's kind of crazy how some of this stuff just slides by and people don't, you know, people are starting to take a look into it. <clears throat> and I just really like the fact that it has these big corporations just squirming. They know they fucked up. They do. They know they fucked up. They want to cover it up, but they know they fucked up. And when there's proof like that that comes out, video proof, video evidence, that, hey, this fucker's a creep. You know, it's... It's crazy. It's crazy. And I think from here on out, you know, these, like I said, these uh, YouTube creators, these Twitch, TikTok, Instagram, whatever platforms they are on, sorry, uh, I hope they get a, catch a lot of these people. I hope they do. I hope these people that get caught get severe consequences, like big time. That's one of these things I hate more than anything. It's like sex offenders. Like, I hate it. Like, I hate it. It fucking disturbs. It's fucking disturbing, all right? And, you know, some people might get pissed about that. And I know there are groups of people that are trying to make this a part of uh, normality, which, no. I forget. This was a long time ago. I forget the... Uh, 
somebody gave a name for it. Um, something attracted to minor. It, it, it was trying to give it a acronym, but it was trying to paint it in a good light. And it, there's nothing you can really say that's good about it. Like, honestly. And the people, these detractors are trying to stir things up and making things, you know, not that serious, I guess. And I'm sorry, I'm I'm rambling at this point. But the, the moral to the story is, don't be a cunt. Don't be a sex offender. Don't be a pedophile. I hope you guys get caught. I hope you do. I hope you guys do. Not not you, my fans. Unless you are one of those people. I hope you get caught. I'm talking to you. I'm talking straight in your eyes. I'm going to fucking come to your house and karate chop you to dick. It's like, what? Probably what I'm going to do. I bet you I just fuck. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Definitely appreciate it. And I'll see you soon.